All right, so we had the first two items sell out of here, and one of them I'm going to come back in in a minute because it was a homeschool hustler sale. So we'll get Turner and he'll talk about that one. But this is the one we talked about the other day. It sold for $75 plus shipping. It's a Guitar Hero 3. Paid three bucks for it. And it is, the box has a little damage here and there, but the item inside is in brand new condition. So that was a really nice flip. And it's going to be the first item that I've put in here that has sold. So I like to do that. I like to put the items that are for sale up. Kind of gives a nice little look. Plus, you know, I don't have a hard time finding them. I know exactly where they're at. So let's go ahead and get this guy down. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and we did make a sale, sort of, out of the eBay shed out there, out of the Commonwealth cabin. And it's kind of the first one. So if you've been watching the videos lately, I've been starting to stock some of the shelves in the front with some merchandise. The back's not quite done yet, and we're going to stock that next. But I've been putting some things that I've been listing recently up on those shelves. By the way, that, that setup in there is kind of similar to this, where I've got shelves here, then I've got a picture area here, and then I've got a few little areas where I can put a few things back there. And so I've kind of mimicked this to some degree in there. And so I'm using these shelves to my left inside of that cabin for new merchandise that I'm listing. So two items that I've put in there have sold now. One of them will go in and do a video with Turner because it's a homeschool hustler store sale. And one of them is uh, an item you saw on the show the other day. And uh, I'll either have, I probably have already taken you in there and grabbed that item out is my guess. But, uh, you know, I pieced these videos together, so you never know. I never know when I'm making the video what's going to go where sometimes. So sort of a couple of sales out of the Commonwealth cabin, which is kind of cool. But the other day I asked you guys what's been selling for you, and I got responses like video games are selling for sure. You know, things that people would be using inside of their home for entertainment, for, for games, you know, that kind of thing to keep them busy. Which in this day and age, you might think, well, you got a cell phone, you know, that's basically all you need. And that's how most people entertain themselves. But, you know, sometimes that even gets tedious and boring. So one person said they've been selling models, lots and lots of models. And that's an interesting thing. Uh, I've sold some creative memory stuff, so some crafting things, educational material. I think I told my wife, I said, we have some hooked on phonics stuff up there. That, that she had bought at a thrift store, and I said, that's probably a pretty good time to list that, so she'll probably list that today. And uh, I don't have that many video games right now, but one of the items is kind of a video game, I suppose, and that sold today. And been selling some strange stuff as well, you know, vintage clothing and things like that that I thought wouldn't sell at all. A lot of people that do vintage items and clothing items commented that they're selling nothing. And that's kind of what I would expect. You know, why would you buy clothes <laughs> to wear in your house when you're, you know, in your pajamas all day? And, you know, you can't see me from the waist down, so I don't have any pants on actually today. So I'm kidding. I have pants on at any rate. I've had a few other people chime in and tell me some things that they have been selling. Um, DVDs, of course, are going to be selling. Whole seasons for certain TV shows have been selling and things like that. So continue to let me know and keep me updated. And if you want to check out the comments, you can look and maybe you can look around your death pile and try to pull out a few things that are selling right now. Some cooking things have been selling as well, which I think is, is interesting. People have time to think about their meals. You know, that's probably all they're thinking about half the time and they can kind of create create a plan and sometimes they can buy something that they can have shipped into them that they can use to create a meal so at any rate keep us updated on what's selling for you and I love to read those and it gives me some thoughts and gives me some thoughts for the future as well so thanks so much and let's check out what's sold. all right first item up is a simple t-shirt I bought this at a garage sale I think it's entitled a garage sale at a former student's house something like that and it's got Care Bears in the thumbnail. If I can remember, I'll link it. And it was a former student of mine, actually a, a pair of students that were former students of mine, siblings, an older brother and a younger sister. This is his shirt. So Andrew, I just sold your shirt. I actually bought this for me. I like green, I like Oakley shirts, and they're the soft kind. So I'm like, I'm gonna buy that thing. I think it was a buck. I can't even remember how much it was because I bought it for me. And I brought it home and I didn't like the way the neckline was on me. And so I decided I was going to sell it. 
and it sold for $10.95. So we're going to make just a few bucks on this, three, four, maybe five bucks or something like that. Nothing amazing at all, but that's the kind of thing I do often. I'll buy something for me, I'll wear it for a while, and then I'll sell it. So not a big profit, but uh, I'll take it. All right, this one is going out to Sandy, and Sandy says, had to get my good luck charm. I've been reselling uh, for many years, but just jumped on the eBay bandwagon in January. I enjoy your videos and your kind heart. Thanks for all that you do for resellers. Sandy uh, at Happy Acres Homesteader. Sandy, thanks so much, and we hope he brings you some good luck. And this was a viewer sale going out to Frank. A couple of CDs, Twisted Radio Waves, Dr. Demento, Jerry Garcia. And these are going out to Frank. And he says, just saw these on a recent YouTube video, currently selling under the old man's picks. Just getting started. Love your videos. Blessings to you and your family. Thank you so much, Frank. We do appreciate it. I'm going to spare you this story about those CDs because I've said it so many times. But let's just say I still have about uh, 600 left. All right, another Nike shirt. You know, this is a Jordan Jumpman shirt. And it's kind of heathered. It's got that heather look in it. And it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. I pick these up all the time. I'll even pick them up at Goodwill for $3.99, no problem. But if I see them at garage sales for a buck or two, I'll grab as many as I can because they're fairly good sellers. You know, the Jumpman has been selling for 25 years and I can't imagine it stopped selling anytime soon. So $14.95 plus shipping on that. That's a nice little profit. Probably around like a $12 profit is my guess because I, I think I paid a buck at a yard sale for it. All right, me and Turner thought we'd break this video up a little bit and come out in the Commonwealth cabin and show you what's sold. See, Turner's not a morning person, y'all, and now we're doing yeah. shipping in the morning. Yeah. And what did you eat? What's on your lips? Uh, a popsicle, I think. A popsicle? Yeah. Last night? Yeah. And you still got it on your lips? Yeah. You know, Mama's going to be mad at me now. Yeah. You think she will? Yeah. Yeah, I think she will do. Oh, well, maybe we'll just sneak this one in the middle of the video and she won't check it. What yeah. do you think? All right. Would you grab this thing right here? Yeah. All right, so this is old school, Turner. You don't remember this because you play little video games all the time, don't you? Yeah. So this is without electronics, and it is just a little game. It's got a go and a stop. Look at that. Maybe we'll let you play it before we, before we ship it out. Yeah. And this one is called Dragon Trap, and you got to get this. It's a timer, and you get this little ball to go into... I don't even know where, over here, to get it from here to here, and then you win the game. It's kind of like Perfection. Do you remember playing that game, Perfection, that pops up and all them pieces come out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a fun game, huh? Yeah, you got to, like, connect the levels or something. Yeah, you got to put the little symbols inside the yeah. little holes. Yeah. So, we're going to sell that out. It sold for $9.81 out of the Homeschool Hustler store. I bought it for a quarter at a garage sale that I'm probably going to show tomorrow maybe on tomorrow's video i think that's when it's going to be maybe it's two days maybe it's next sunday's video i'm not quite sure so at that price at a quarter and selling it for like nine dollars and 75 cents ish something like that you're looking at about a 450 to five dollar profit on that you figure it's 15 percent in fees and that thing's going to cost about 275 280 something like that to ship but you add that together with the quarter you paid for it and you get close to a five dollar profit Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I like that t-shirt, Turner. Th yes, I do too. <laughs> you like it? Do you like Spider-Man better or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You like that better than Spider-Man? Yeah. Oh my goodness. How about cars? You like cars? Yeah. Yeah, you like that too? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's awesome. So thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> See y'all later. All right, so Turner wants to know how to play this thing. So you pull this little thing all the way down like we did, okay? And then you hit this button. Can you hit that button right there? Pop yeah. it up. Okay, and then you gotta get that little ball all yeah. the way to yeah. the other side and into that hole right there. And then you win. What do you think? I think it's cool. Yeah? Yeah. After you're doing this, we'll have to wipe that thing down with a wipe before we ship it out. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this one's going out to Mike. And Mike, we sure hope that this guy gets all those things moving out of the back end of your store. I've heard a lot of good stories on Instagram lately of this guy showing up and you making two or three sales within the hour of it showing up. So you never know. Let me know. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate it. All right, this sale doesn't surprise me too much. Some mousetrap replacement pieces. I sell these often. 
And a lot of people are playing board games right now. We haven't done that at our house yet, but I imagine we will soon. I guess that's not totally true. We played a little uh, Connect Four yesterday. So, All right, so these are from a sale that probably you will see, my guess is tomorrow. I think we might air this one. I'm not positive, but I think that's when we might throw it out there. So uh, I'm a little worried about putting these garage sale videos. People are like, why are you out garage sailing? Why are you shaking these people's hands? So a lot of these guys are from, you know, from three weeks ago, four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Some of them I have from like two months ago. So in the comments, if somebody says something on one of those videos, y'all need to defend me out there. So this was in a new old stock box that I paid five bucks for just because I wanted to kind of dig through it and have a little fun. So we're going to make a little bit of money. Found these old uh, scotch tape, which I think are really neat. These metal dispensers with that plaid look to them. So that, what do they call it? Tartan? Is that what they call it? can't remember I can't remember my keywords right now so but these are cool that was in there there's a few other things we can sell in there but these sold and these sold for $12.95 plus shipping so paid five bucks for the box so we're already in a profit here of about five six dollars right here on these and then everything else we got in that box will be profit uh, I didn't even tell you what they are they're gummed tape they're gummed cloth tape and they're brand new in the box, but a lot of people out there, you use that gummed tape to seal your packages. I don't do that. Maybe I should. I've seen a few. I think Bearded Picker out there has one of those gummed tape machines. I'm not positive, but uh, maybe maybe I'll give it a shot. So these are brand new. I mean, these are really cheap things, but uh, I don't know. There was one big one. I thought about maybe keeping it and using it, but uh, probably get rid of it too. Look at that. I just found the original price on that one was 18 cents. So... You know, inflation, boy, inflation. All right, this one's going out to Travis, and Travis says that he and his wife love to watch this show all the time. So, And you guys are from Texas. So Travis and Allison, we appreciate it, and we hope he brings you great luck, and he starts selling stuff out of that store. All right, I may have already talked about this one, or I may have just thrown it in the middle of the video because I grabbed it out of the Commonwealth cabin. I talked about it the other day. I actually put it on Instagram. And when I found it, I'm like, hey, this is great. This will sell right now. It's a good time to sell it. Open it up, and it was brand new. So I went from thinking I was going to make, you know, 50 bucks to make about 70 bucks on it. And I made a big mistake, and I kind of got bailed out. When I listed it, I didn't put calculated shipping on this thing. I have no idea why I did. I would never do this free shipping, but I did do it free shipping. Luckily for me, just calculating the numbers out, it's going to cost me a little under $9 to ship this, if you can believe it, because it's going really nearby, which is really cool. So I think I said in the previous video that it was 75 plus shipping. It wasn't. It was 75 free shipping. So essentially, it's like selling it for $65 plus shipping. So I definitely lost out on 10 to $15 profit on this item, but I'm still making a really nice profit because I paid 3 bucks for it. And I'm just going to ship it out. It was my mistake. And you just kind of got to eat your own mistakes sometimes. But uh, sometimes when I list really quickly, I'll make that mistake. Fortunately for me, this is not a mistake that cost me too much money. I'm going to package that up in 1095 box. It's just going to be perfect. If I remember my measurements right, that is the right width. And I'll just put a little tiny bit of something here and a little tiny bit of something here. And I might have enough to stick a thin piece of bubble wrap on each side. But it's already packaged up really nicely anyways because it's brand new in the package. So two of these is probably going to do the trick. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive it's going to do the trick. It's going to be pretty cheap. So if you put calculated shipping on things and people nearby buy it, even if they're big, even if they're heavy, sometimes it's pretty cheap as long as it stays under that dimensional limit. You're going to be pretty cheap in shipping these things out. And this one, I think, was $8.98 to ship it, so I love it. All right, this one's going off to Colin, and Colin says, All the eBay resellers that I watch have these things popping up everywhere, so I thought there must be something to it, so I ordered one. Keep the good content coming, and we love your videos. We'll send pictures of him in his new eBay home. So, Colin, thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right, here is a shirt from the Sunny Shares consignment sale. And this isn't a major money maker, but my wife listed it. It is uh, 1970s. This one might be early 70s. It reminds me of the old uh, hot dog on a stick that we used to have in California. And those people, they I always thought they were like eight foot tall because they're standing on a platform. And they would dip those corn dogs and cheese dogs and they'd have the lemonade right there. And they'd have them funny looking hats. Y'all know what I'm talking about out there. 
and that's kind of what this outfit reminds me of right here and it is a, a striped mock neck hippie mod go-go t-shirt yellow orange white that's how she listed it vintage 60s vintage 70s so she's got all the keywords right there sold for 19 bucks so 18.95 free shipping and that's about a 650 profit i think for me and a 650 profit for sunny and that's a neat little sale that we did on a consignment so uh, Sonny, let's take a look at how much we've made so far. All right, so far, here's all our sales from that consignment sale. $236 profit. So half to me, half to you. And we have a long, long way to go. If you want to go check out that sale, it's on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. All right, everybody, as always, thanks for joining us. And I just want to say a big, giant thank you to so many people who have been buying from us that are viewers. It's really kind. You don't need to do that, but we do appreciate it. And I know a lot of you are having really good sales right now, and a lot of you are having really poor sales right now. So we wish the best for all of you out there. And thanks so much for the comments. Uh, it's neat to keep up with you. You know, you get to get a peek into our life here, and we're doing just fine. And it's nice for us to get a little bit of a peek into your life. And the only way we can do that is through comments, so we appreciate it. I try to get back to so many of them. Uh, it's difficult sometimes to get to three, 400 comments, but I do my best. And we appreciate you as always, and we will see you next time.